Hello, everybody. Head football analyst Cody Cameron here from Arizona Varsity, and I'm joined by one of the best running backs in the state of Arizona, class of 2024, Chandler High School's Khalil Valentine. Khalil, how's it going, man? Thanks for joining me. It's good. It's good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So your recruitment spiked, man. You had a heck of a junior year on the gridiron this fall, posting over 1,700 all-purpose yards, yep. and then the offer started to climb. University of Arizona, Arizona State, University of Utah, and I know a big one towards the end of the season was the University of Oregon, and that's where we're going to start this interview because you just got back from there, man. You got yeah. to meet Eugene with another player from the 2024 class, Christian Clark from Mountain Point. You guys went up there together. How was it? You, you know, first time in Eugene meeting, you know, getting to hang out with the staff and seeing the facilities. Break down that visit for me. It was it was really fun. I mean, I I didn't expect me to be up there, but like I like the facility. The facility was really nice, and the, the coaches were just really bonding. Coach Lock, I mean, I like him very much. He's he's something you can be cool with, but then he knows like he's ready to coach at any time. So like I just really like. Then I like um, Coach Lanning. He's like, I just like all the coaches, and it was just. A really good experience. You know, a lot of Arizona kids end up in Eugene and University of Oregon, and then mm -hmm. it's for for many reasons. You know, one naturally just to get out of the desert, you know, somewhere where they grew up, and then two, they like you were talking about the facilities. They always say, "Heck, one of the first times I step into the stadium and just seeing Autzen Stadium and and the history and the the locker room, and then just all mm -hmm. the things that Oregon has and what they're known for the jerseys, the facilities, the the cold and hot tub, uh, just mm -hmm. craziness. What was that like, man? Seeing all those things." For I mean, it was it was a dream come true. I mean, it was just like very fun being with my parents. I, I was, and then when I walked into the field, it was just like wow, like it was just very big, and it was just real fun to be there. So Jordan Somerville is a is a guy who he's from the state of Arizona. He's mm -hmm. a native. He's you know started as G at Arizona State, went to New Mexico, just worked his way up, and he does a tremendous job keeping the relationship with Arizona kids. I know you mentioned like Coach Lanning, the head coach there, and some of these other guys. Jordan Somerville, what's what's that like having a connection with a coach on staff at Oregon who understands yeah. Arizona high school football players? I mean, it's good because like you can be able to talk to somebody that's from Arizona. He knows Arizona football, so it's like at least you have somebody to talk to that's from Arizona, like knows the way around and stuff like that. So, like I said, a lot of Arizona guys make their way up to Eugene. One being your former, one of your former teammates, Murray Washington, Big Mike you know, signed to the University of Oregon this this previous uh, December in the early signing day. And then just many other players, man. What, what, yeah. what is it? What do you think it is about, you know, maybe not even the football program, but University of Oregon as a campus that attracts so many Arizona players? I mean, it's not only the campus, but it was like the relationship with the coaches build with the players. So that, that makes that plays like a big part in it. But also like when you, as soon as you step into the facility or just see the facility, you're just going to be like, this is where I want to be. So it's something big. So the end of January now, the dead period is, is finally here after a couple mm -hmm. weeks of eval and contact period at the NCAA. What what do you want to – looking at your recruitment here, are there some other schools that are are still, you know, really recruiting you hard and some campuses you, you still want to go visit here in the spring? Yeah, I definitely – I want to go visit Utah and U of A. Those are two on my list that, as of right now, I want to visit. What's on your agenda for the off season in terms of staying here locally and training? And, you know, me and you talked off air about track. What are, what are some of the goals and stuff you want to accomplish this spring and off season? Definitely want to accomplish getting bigger, but then also getting faster on the track. Uh, I'm trying to run in the hundred, like a 10, eight. So that's a really a big focus and just being in the weight room and lifting and getting bigger. When you talk about chairman football, it's hard to not mention Chandler track when you talk about the offseason. Exactly. I mean, it's a perfect pipeline for a lot of the running backs in terms of just getting better and, and getting faster. Why do you think that's important to your game on the football field to to compete and run track in the spring? Because really, the thing about it is speed kills. Speed is going to do everything for you. If you have speed, you can really outrun anybody. So that's really important. And if you're big, it's going to two and two go together. Okay, you get to boast here, okay? I want, I want, you, to, I want you to be – Boast, you know, not only yourself, but also team. I want goals for Khalil Valentine for his senior season next fall and a team goal that you guys that you want to accomplish next season. Um, I'd say for me, uh, at least getting 2,500 rushing yards and at least 40 touchdowns. So big goal. But I mean, I think I can accomplish it. I mean, you can do anything. So and then for my team. For sure, winning state, because that's one big goal that everybody wants to do. But I think my team has a big chip on their shoulder. 
that's something we're looking forward to. And the last thing you look at, like the going to your recruitment, you there's so many kids that do so many things, right? They'll they'll commit now, but still play the game. They'll commit after some official visits. What do you want to do, man? Do you have like a timeline, like, hey, I want to be committed during this time, or you're like, hey, I'm just gonna I'm gonna let this thing feel out and we'll, we'll get it done when it's done. I mean, I'll just it is what it, like I'm gonna get it done when it's done. It's it's really like whatever comes is gonna come, and whenever my time is to commit, then it's gonna be able to commit. Khalil Valentine, class of 2024, running back Chandler High School. Khalil, always a pleasure to talk to you, man. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.